maybe four staff could provide the utility to save a comrade in need, plus obviously add more damage to the rupture. It is going to be an interesting one. Yeah, Midas should still work good on him. Yeah, Midas, of course, if you'd like to go full pub mode. Oh, yeah. All right, another Earthbind. A couple of hooves, potentially. Forcing out the prison here. One more auto attack. He gets it. Abed with the first blood on his Meepo in the mid lane. Yeah, Me Freak's just like, are you serious right now? Frustration. Not even going to get that one either. Demon will take it with the crush and then peace out the last second. Well played, sir. Meanwhile, back and below, Abed up in arms is going to be able to get the snipe on Swindle Melons. Both brothers will end up being a bit flustered here. Not the easiest target, but they're thinking about going for it here. They'll set it up with the prison. Here comes the silence. Now they make their move in. Rupture, skewer, but immediate borrow time and a TP. Oh no, they'll cancel it with an RP. Will they get the Bulba finish here? Oh, the prison will end up getting it done. It cost them two ultimates though to oh. get the Bulba Abaddon down. So he casts the prison, then Blood Rage on him, so he wants. Demon is just on the low ground. Swindle actually sees him there. But uh, I guess so does Demon. Just hits him right up with a crush. And turning the corner is going to be Abed. Looking to go for the easy snipe on the support, and we'll get it done. That's a good board right there. This is the board they plan to win a fight, actually, because they have a good rush potential with uh, Slardar, Zalti, and Meepo. Healing board from Jug. Yeah. Looks like... Uh, they wanted to get some wards down to spot any approach here. Oh, Melons just gets destroyed by Abed in the bottom lane. And uh, back for that extra hit uh, because he has such a high base damage and uh, extra damage from Quill Spray and Boar Fat. So that double hit hurts so much. Right up to the high ground goes Demon. And he just gets the immediate crush, immediate Omni, and a Chaotic Offering. How about a couple of ultis for you, Complexity? As they just shred right through monkeys here. Now Onyx double back and go right into the pit. Wow, that ult so fast. Moo, not looking to let him have it for easy here. There goes the rupture. It's going to be on to Mason. They're looking to wait by his side. Bulba gives him the shield. He goes into the Blade Fury, continuing to wait it out. Fatal Bonds has also been connected, and they're beginning to share that damage. Abed looking to move in, targeting the Bristleback. Can Moo get the job done? He is going to go be going down, not able to get up enough of the quill. 747, though, sliding on in, gets the finish on to Dubu, but will lose his life right after. Z Freak also going to be going down. This will certainly earn Onyx the Rosh. Magna still has his. Get this tier one and find a way out without getting caught. Demon's actually waiting back for the smoke. Yeah, plus they use scan. They oh, oh, Jimmy. He does manage to get a force up and over. The rock drop comes out, and it's going to be on to 747 and Monkeys. Monkeys is going to go down. They're going to be finding 747 next, and they're both taking out the playing field. All for the jump of Demon. With Onyx all nearby, they were easily able to respond. They're going to be moving on to the next target, which is going to be Moo, the big raid boss. Is able to get off a respectable amount of damage, but it's not nearly enough. And oh. it keeps going on from there. Triple kill for Abed. Have Onyx really been skewering back Demon. I guess with Demon coming back, they saw the vision of 747, and then that was the call. And Dubu had dropped the rock, and it was a beautiful one. And look at this. They're going to even get the pick up onto Z Freak here nearby. Godlike Abed Meepo. I don't think we'll be seeing many more Game 3 Meepos moving forward. Life steal, so that's something around. Oh no, Swindle has been spotted nearby at his own shrine. Demon and Abed are going to make the chase form. Abed doesn't want to have to commit the extra Meepos because they're all back inside the base. Taking down to Tier 3 and going in for the Rex on the mid lane. Onyx are doing it. Game 3 will be taking the first real base damage. Monkeys is forced to dish out the RP. Managed to skewer back one little precious Abed Meepo. They will be able to get the finish and take the Aegis down. But Complexity need a hell of a hold here. And a hell of a network swing to be able to stay alive. Can they burst down the Meepo? No. He's able to blink over to the side. He's there, very alive. They get it. They get him down. It's they lose the set of Raxes. Yeah, Crystal it costs gets them. One K goal. Time to continue to wait. How's our clock looking? Just about a little over one minute uh, before that Roche will come up. Oh, he just jumped on OD. Bottom lane. Blasted apart. Abed gets the finish on the 747. They frantically ping out the Roche pit to check it out. Man, RP from Magnus if they want to win this fight. No pressure, monkeys. Yeah, just keep it casual. Four casual man RP. Four or five man RP will probably be what you need. 
Oh, look at this. Look at this. Dubu will go down possibly here. He's getting chased apart. They need to save him. Dishes out the silence. He's not able to make it out yet. They case him up and they finish him out. Meanwhile, Mason, though, is able to get the grab on the Swildno Melons on the other side. 747 now looking to get up in arms with Bulba. Mason looking to turn on to him. Abed makes the jump. 747 drops down to the stand. It's Eclipse. Big move for Monkeys. Blast back Abed and we'll be able to get the finish there. It could be Cole's fight to finally take. But now a buyback comes up in the Warlock. He's still looking to move in. He has the Chaotic Offering. Can he be able to get the drop? Will it be necessary? They're able to get the first finish onto Monkeys. There goes the rocket. It's right on top of Mu and the 747 and with the Fatal Bonds. 747 is going to be forced to TP out, but he can't make it away. He will be crushed by Demon, and it's all Z Freak and Mu frantically. Okay, Invis Mason. Walking on in, Cole. They hit him up a bit. There's the move. Nice crush comes in from Demon. Earns the insta takedown of Monkeys Forever on this one. Now comes out the Omni Slash, and they're looking to shred apart Moo, and they will be able to do it. He does have a buyback. Buyback is going to be forced out from Monkeys here. The already exposed mid lane here. They're going to get Demon shoved right back inside, and that's going to be a gem on the deck. Moving in, though, Abe quickly decimates Swindle. Out of this fight without a buyback here. Speaking of buybacks, Mu does use his. Abed will be able to TP away. Onyx are looking to retreat out. There was how much buybacks? One on Mu, one on uh, Monkeys, and... Looks like Swindle may have overextended a bit. 747 is going to be able to help him out with the prison. Demon pops his BKB and just starts trying to swing at 747. Swindles will come back at the E-Blade and go out, and now they're going to be forced to fight. They're trying to come on in, but they can't find a good target. They'll settle with an RP onto Abed and shove him right back inside the base, and that will get the finish of the Aegis here. Over on the other side, Abed will make his return. The Omni Slash goes out. It's going to be a double kill for Mason, and it leads into another. Buyback's going to be forced out for 747, but it does look like Onyx may have finally done it here. With a triple kill coming out from Mason, it's only two survivors. Seven, some good work for Demon. They're looking to go for the finish. They try to help him. Good save there with the E-Blade. 747 now going to get caught with the Hex. Abed jumping in, looking to go for the boost. This could be it. He takes him out. There's no buyback. And Onyx may have just played their way through not one, not two, but three best of threes and won all of them to qualify for the Kiev Major. Unreal performance from them. Onyx have really done it this game. I think uh, teams need to learn their lesson. You just need to ban Meepo. Oh, look at the build. The three so Diffusal Blades, much. level two, plus Side of Vice. Out of control, that's the call, that's the game. Onyx have done it! Woohoo! Starting out against Freedom, take him to a three game stretch. You move on to face NP, that Complexity have just beaten down. You take them out in two games with a Meepo and Complexity didn't, didn't take a note of it. <laughs> wow. Unbelievable, there it is. I'm kind of speechless here. I really didn't expect Onyx to win, but, but uh, uh, today in their first games they showed so much potential and uh, as game went through they became so much stronger. It's like they built chemistry throughout the day.